Hey, all you experts out there, this is the Monetize Your Expertise podcast, where we show you how to use your skills to pay the bills. Have you ever wanted to create a business that positions you as the industry leader and go to expert? Join me every week to hear from amazing leaders and entrepreneurs who have successfully refined their skills in order to become experts and create extremely profitable knowledge businesses. To find all of the links and tools mentioned in this episode, just go to myepodcast.com. I'm your host, Grant Worley, the online course guy, helping you every week to monetize your expertise. Hey, podcast listeners. Today, I wanted to record an episode about content creation, because as an expert, it's really vital that you put out great content. And I've discussed this in previous episodes, but it's not always the easiest thing to do to take knowledge that you have and package it up and put it uh, into great content that other people can consume. I mean, just think about people who are uh, high end super intelligent PhDs and researchers, but they're actually terrible professors. Happens all the time because it's an additional skill beyond what you already know to actually take what you know and put it into great content. Fortunately, it does not have to be that challenging to create effective content. So today I'm going to break down for you some easy ways to create content quickly and effectively. So of course, the exact implementation of this depends on your market and your products, but you should be able to find a way to apply all three of these in various ways. So content creation method number one that's super, super simple and is a fundamental skill set and uh, prerequisite of creating content for just about anything is the screen recorded walkthrough. So imagine trying to learn differential calculus from a professor who's talking at you with no whiteboard whatsoever. So this is the same thing as many forms of content that's put out. You see maybe somebody talking at you, like a talking ahead approach uh, or some simple slides but the problem with that is it doesn't actually show you how to do things. So it's it's really great to have uh, voiceover slides or the talking head style of content creation. But we really need to stop and show our audiences how to actually do things. If you're showing, if you're talking about how to use some kind of software, well, you can talk about it. You can show some slides breaking down the steps. But don't you think it's more effective to actually walk somebody through the process to do it? This is where true value comes from. It's actually showing people how to do exactly what they need to do to reach the result that you're trying to help them achieve. Some tools you can use to do this, Camtasia, ScreenFlow, you can even use QuickTime, which is native on Macs and easy to download elsewhere. You can literally just go open up QuickTime, click on file, new screen recording, and record your screen and just do with the thing you're trying to educate your audience about. It's a very simple way to quickly create content. It takes minimal preparation and little to no editing. Just Go open up your screen recording program, hit record, and then just talk while you do whatever you're trying to do and whatever you're trying to teach about. And your audience will find it super valuable and you probably only have to edit it out the beginning and the end. If you think about it, that's why there's so many effective and popular, wildly popular YouTube channels that focus on putting out these kinds of tutorials. They'll walk through, uh, for example, I've watched plenty of these myself on video editing. So they'll just do little three minute video screencasts about how to do some particular setting in iMovie or something. All kinds of content that's put out like this. And it's really, really effective. And I hope if you have any products whatsoever that include video content, any online courses, uh, maybe a blog that you put out video content through, I really hope you're taking the time to incorporate this strategy into the content that you produce. And the cool thing is that you have automatic credibility. People perceive that you have automatic credibility for anything that you show on a screen recording. So if, for example, if you show uh, a simple screen recording about the simple tools and settings to use iMovie, well, then all of a sudden people are going to perceive you as being credible about iMovie. For example, if I contacted and talked to somebody, I watched their little tutorial, then I'd be like, wow, you must be the iMovie expert, right? So it's just a really awesome technique that you can use in a lot of situations. The second strategy for content creation I wanted to talk about, uh, and this one is honestly, it's one of my favorites to do. It's so much fun. It's actually part of the inspiration behind this podcast. It's interviewing experts. It might sound really obvious, but I think most people don't stop to appreciate the the value, the true value in adding interview content to their products and to their brand, the true value that that conveys and the the little perks that come alongside of it, right? So there's minimal editing because, you know, you just 
hit record and you usually maybe you mess up the intro or something that, but there's very little editing you most likely will just have to edit out the beginning and the end just like a screen recording the cool thing is that you get credibility by association so if you manage to land the most famous possible person in your industry and you interview them well guess what they are going to rub off on you immensely and all of a sudden people will be very impressed with you even if you're just you know like a 20 year old kid right out of college or something and you're interviewing the top people in your industry well all of a sudden now you're a top top person in your industry. It's uh, amazing the kind of perceived credibility that associating yourself with experts uh, can convey. Some other cool things that can happen is that these kinds of experts have huge networks in a lot of situations. So when you interview them, it's a, not a hard ask to say, hey, cool, this, I just published this podcast or uh, YouTube video or whatever, <laughs> on a video on my blog, wherever you're putting it out, and say, hey, do you mind sharing this with your audience? Well, not only are you getting their credibility, but you're also tapping into their audience. And again, it's minimal editing, so it's just it's not very difficult to do. And you'll be surprised how many people actually will respond to interview requests. Uh, I've been uh, really, really happy to to see the kinds of responses that really high end entrepreneurs give sometimes to to being interviewed. And purely from a content creation standpoint, this is one of the most efficient ways to create content. If you wanted to create an hour long video of content, it would take quite a bit of time to prepare it. You know, maybe potentially creating slides or setting up your programs to, to record your screen, etc. And then doing all these, <laughs> these different walkthroughs and all this different editing. It's really complicated, and I say that from experience. If you do an interview, again, there's almost no editing involved, and it's I would say probably perceived as just as high quality as if you take 10 hours to create one hour video on your own. So it takes a tiny percentage of the effort to create uh, the same length of content that you would be creating on your own purely by talking to somebody who's credible. Another final cool little perk of this is that now you've associated with this person, so not only do you have their credibility rubbing off on you, you might have access to their audience, but hopefully you've, you've formed or at least started to cultivate a connection with this person. So it's sort of like content creation, networking, and expanding your audience all in one. It's great stuff. So now you might be wondering, how do I actually go about getting experts uh, to interview? Well, don't worry. I've actually included a little extra bonus handout for you on my website. So definitely check out myepodcast.com and the link for this episode will have an extra bonus handout that'll help you do just that. It's actually not terribly complicated, simple steps, simple templates you can follow. Uh, And again, like I said, you'll be surprised how many people will say yes, as long as you ask. So go to myepodcast.com and I have a bonus handout that'll help you get experts to interview in no time flat. And finally, the third and final way to create really effective content very, very quickly is to create PDFs. So this might not sound that revolutionary, but if you've ever taken a course, oftentimes really, really high-end course, they might even be thousands of dollars, they'll include PDF handouts that are well-branded, they're well-designed, they enhance the perceived value of the course. And the cool thing is they take like 10 minutes to make. Honestly, they're, they're so easy to make, but they look very, very professional. I mean, have you ever written an outline of anything in a Word document? Cool. Then guess what? You can actually make a professional looking PDF. All you have to do is write something down in a Word document, send it off to a designer, uh, oftentimes on uh, fiverr.com, which is F I V E R R.com, and you can find a designer to make a really pretty professional looking PDF for about five to ten dollars. It looks very professional, adds a ton of value to courses or to your website. Maybe this can be an opt-in for an email address on your blog. Uh, and it's crazy simple and fast to do. You can create checklists, guides to using various tools, PDF summaries, resource guides, all kinds of good stuff. And uh, you know, templates, you know, actually I just mentioned providing you a template. How do you think <laughs> how do you think I made the bonus guide to the last point about finding people to interview? Guess what? I use this exact same process. So it's really, really effective. And all it takes is literally just going into Word or Pages if you have a Mac, uh, typing something up and then going to Fiverr. Again, that's F-I-V-E-R-R.com if you haven't heard of it, where you can get really cheap uh, one-off services. Just find a designer and then guess what? Send off the Word document and then probably about 24 hours, you got a really nice looking PDF. Okay, so now you've learned how to use these three techniques to create 
really effective, high-end content super, super quickly and easily. But now you might be asking, how do you actually use this content to grow your business? Well, there's a lot of ways to use it. And of course, it depends on where you're at in your business or what your industry is. But here's a couple ways to think about using these content creation strategies to grow your business. So first off, if you don't already have an online course, you should definitely have an online course. It's I'm biased, but I think they're quintessential to growing any online business. Uh, and so just these three techniques alone, the interview, the screencast, and the PDF creation strategies, you can actually create an online course using pretty much just these three strategies, right? And knock it out. And I've even created courses in as little as 48 hours. So that's one way you can use these content creation strategies. You can also use especially the PDF, um, but even the the other forms as well. You can give these away for free uh, in exchange for an opt-in on your website to grow your audience. You can also incorporate these into your blog, uh, you know, even create an entire post around this, focusing on the video content or, or the PDF handout just to advertise it and help get it out there and again get those opt-ins. You can also add these as bonuses to ebooks to get people who are reading. For example, if you've already got a book and you can add these into your to your ebook as a bonus alongside the book and use this to get people from reading your book to actually become traffic to your website and preferably give you that opt-in. You can also use this as part of your sales funnel as free content to lead up to a product offer. For example, um, I recommend using all three of these as part of a launch of an online course. Uh, there's tons of different things you can do here to use this kind of content. You can start a YouTube channel. You can uh, clearly you can do what I'm doing. Start a podcast, interview experts, and add PDF handouts alongside that. There's a lot of ways to use this to grow your business. Um, the main thing is to start turning that expertise, turning that knowledge you have between your ears into digestible content content that's packaged up, distributed effectively. So hopefully this episode has given you a quick look into how you can do that, how you can take information that you have, package it up, turn it into content, and also start to use it effectively in your business. So as always, thanks for listening. And again, in this episode in particular, make sure to go to myepodcast.com to get the bonus handout alongside this episode. Until next time, see ya. Hey, entrepreneurs and experts, I just wanted to thank you for listening to this episode. And I hope you learned at least one new big idea that helps you evolve your skills and gets you closer to monetizing your expertise and creating that successful knowledge business. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on iTunes and Stitcher and check out myepodcast.com for all episodes as well as the tips and tricks mentioned in this episode. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.